Okay, so we had a look at images and we're just going to have a look at shapes. So to add a shape to your document, again, because you're going to add something, it's insert. And we're going to go to that illustrations group and click on shapes. Now, look at this. You can see you have lots of different shapes here. You've got lines, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrows, equation shapes, flow charts. And, you know, shapes are basically what you call vector graphics, which means that they don't lose resolution when you blow them up big. Whereas images get distorted after a while. Shapes, computer generated, keeps the same resolution uh, <clears throat> as you go on. Um, now, Word is actually quite powerful with this. A lot of people don't know. You can actually, you're not bound to these shapes. You can create your own. You can combine and merge things together and edit the points. But we, that's another subject. What we're going to do is click on, if you look at the top here of recently used shapes, um, or even down to basic shapes, there's an oval shape. That's, that's our circular objects, okay? In Word, it's called an oval. So click on that oval shape. And what you'll notice is that your cursor changes to a cross, okay? And that means it wants you to blow up your shape click and drag click and drag here in other at at anywhere and just make it bigger click and drag and stop when the circle is at a good size and let go okay once you're happy with with the with your circle um as anyone, is that okay? Yeah. We're gonna. I'm going to rather than having rather than because I want two circles of the same shape again. I'm probably not going to get it to be exactly the same when I try it again. So I can copy this circle and, and a couple times and paste. So here's what I'm going to do. I like to. I like. To, I'm going to just basically um, select my circle and on your keyboard hold down Control and C. Okay. Control C is for copy. Yes. Control C at the same time and then control V to paste. Okay? And do that twice. Do control V a couple times and you'll see that that those circles have now become uh three circles by copying and now what we can do with these circles, what I want you to do is to um give each circle a different shade of color and that just means double clicking on on one of them and if you look up here in your shape styles group you will see um, shape fill wherever you see that paint bucket symbol yeah it's where you can fill an object with color so i'm just going to choose one of those colors of orange maybe so I've got one orange. Double click the second shape. Notice your contextual menu says join tools, not picture tools. Okay. Click on shape fill again. Choose a different color. Green. And maybe the last one I can do maybe yellow. Okay, so I've got three shapes. And I've added color to them. Notice that the outline of my circles um, are still blue, okay? Because your outline is like a separate entity altogether. If you wanted them all to look the same, you'd have to make the outline color the same as the inside color. Is uh, we want to talk about um, two things, okay? One of them is called ordering, ordering an object. And the other one is um, uh, grouping or combining all these shapes together. Because as you can see, these three circles are separate shapes altogether, aren't they? But when you, when you group them or combine them, they become one. They become all stuck together. And we need to know how to do that. Um, to, to, dem to demonstrate this, what I want you to do is just slightly move each circle over the next one. So sli slightly overlap the, the, the one next to it. Just click and drag each circle and slightly overlap each one so that you have, so they're slightly overlapping basically.
Okay, which, which circle is at the front? The circle, because we can, he's at the front. And, and which one, which, which ones are, uh, uh, which one is at the back, would you say? The red, okay, because the green one is slightly covering it, and then the yellow one is covering the green one. Now, ordering just means bringing something to the front or sending it to the back. So if we, if we wanted to send the yellow circle all the way to the back, what we'll do is cl click on the yellow circle, and if you look if you look here in the arrange group, you've got bring forward and send backwards. If you do send backward, it goes to the back of the pile, doesn't it? If we wanted to bring the red one to the front, click on the red circle and bring forward. Or bring to front. Okay, now there's a difference here. The difference between bring forward and bring to the front is, is if you have several shapes stacked up on top of each other, bring forward will only bring it up once in that list. Bring to the front will take it right to the top. So what I want to say is that uh, with a combination of grouping and ordering, you can make quite complex shapes because you're creating your shapes and you're organizing pictures, bringing eyes to the front, bringing things to the back, layering things together, and then grouping it all together um, to make it one shape. All right? Um, so it's quite a useful technique. I mean, you know, we, we, we can do... We can do this as well. I can make the, the I can make the yellow uh, I can make the pink circle big, and move the the yellow one in the middle. And say, ooh, bring bring this one to the front. So I'll do bring bring to front. And then, you know, so you you can create objects by, you know, that that could be a wheel for a toy car or something. You know, um, it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to undo that. Right, what I want you to do, what, what I want you to do here is slowly space the circles apart. I mean, it doesn't have to be spaced apart, but just, just for clarity. Um, slightly space your circles apart like this, because the next exercise we want to do is to combine or group them together. Okay, now this, this one... Um, can be a bit tricky if you're not used to sort of um, keyboard shortcuts or um, new to grouping. And indeed, some computers, there's a setting in Word that doesn't, if it's not activated, it makes this a problem. But we'll, I'll come around and have a look. Now, if you want to combine these shapes together, you have to be aware that we have to select each one at the same time. Okay? However, if I click on the red circle and I click on the green one, the red one, it comes off the red one, doesn't it? So how do we select all of them together? What key needs to be held down? Shift. Not shift, no. Close, though. Control, okay? So you, step one, you click on the first circle. Don't hold on control first. Click first. Click the circle first. Then hold on control. Click on the second shape. And then the third one. So my computer is a bit slow, so hence why it's taking its time to select all of them, uh, because I've got the extra software running. But anyway, once you have once you have them all all selected like this, um, one, two, three. What you need to do is then go to your uh, your arrange group, and you'll see a, you'll see a little um, button with two squares interlocking. Yeah, click on that and then select group, and then you'll see that the the three selections become one selection, and you group the three circles together like this, and. You could have also right-clicked on your selection and done group as well. You could have used the shortcut menu as well. And finally, if you want to ungroup all of this, just go back to the group button and select ungroup. 
and they will come back to three selections so group and ungroup okay you can group these things together um, okay so just to recap um, you're probably wondering how the circle changed into banana just like that um, it's because I use the um, editing shapes too um, when you were looking and move the points about but anyway what we what we've sort of done with shapes is that we've inserted shapes we've filled them with color um, we've basically looked at ordering center front center back bringing them to the front organizing them in that way we've also looked at grouping the shapes using the control key control select each shape in turn and you're able to group them together to create one object.